Okay, in honor of the upcoming Godzilla X Kong, I decided to make my office pink. Now let's talk about Monarch Legacy of Monsters. <laughs> So a month or two ago, I made a video where I said that this show sucks, and I still stand by what I said. I think at the time, the show did pretty much suck. I thought that the past storyline was the only thing that was interesting. Present day storyline had a bunch of nonsense with three annoying characters looking for a dad who is connected to Monarch, which, by the way, they aren't that interesting, and I don't think they deserve an entire show, but, you know, that's where it was headed in the beginning of the show. That's why I said it sucked. I wasn't really enjoying it. There wasn't very much Godzilla. There wasn't very much monsters at all. It just seemed like a bunch of nonsense. They're trying to make us care about Monarch or find them very interesting. And I just, sorry, I was not interested. I was not feeling it. I didn't really care about it. But now I will say these last two episodes really turned things around for me and made me leave the show with not like a big, huge smile, but I, I think I smiled a little bit more. So we're finally getting a connection between the past storyline and the present storyline. And it was really cool just seeing things click together. I was like, ah, yes, this man, this man is like this guy and this gal knows this guy and this person. And it was just kind of cool. I was enjoying that part of it. And also the acting just suddenly seemed like it got better. What happened? Did they get an acting coach or something? Because these present day actors, you know, Kentaro had a really cool scene with his father where there was so much emotions, so many tears, so much range. I was like, oh, yay, finally, they brought the acting coach to the set. This is great news. The show is getting better. I was very um surprised to see that these people just suddenly turned around and started delivering these performances that I thought they should have had the whole time. But, you know, it was a lot better. It definitely made me enjoy the show more. And so let's dig into a little bit more of the details. So with these last two episodes, uh, definitely things get more interesting. I think that the past storyline still, I will say, is my favorite storyline. I really wouldn't mind an entire show dedicated to those three characters just in the past. Although Kiko is not so much around after the first episode. Uh, I don't want to get into spoilers. But if you're watching this episode, one can assume that you have seen the show or that you are very interested and don't mind spoilers. So I'm going to say Kiko is alive and she has been living in this mysterious world underground or, or maybe outside of space time. Who knows? But she's alive and she's actually somebody's mom and she's got, you know, she's younger. She doesn't know what year it is. It was kind of cool seeing those kind of things in this finale in these last two episodes. They definitely improved what was going on to make this show so drab. They brought out more emotion. They brought out more spectacle. They brought out more mystery and they started answering your questions. And I thought those were all very good things. One of the most interesting things about this show was the decision to have Wyatt Russell and Kurt Russell playing the exact same character just decades apart. I thought that was a really cool decision. I will say at times I felt like I was watching two different characters. I felt like there was just a disconnect in their performances, but I guess you could say a lot has changed in this present day storyline that make Lee Shaw just a little bit different than he was in the past. And so I guess maybe you could look at it and that could make sense. But it was cool to see them finally start to seem like the same character. I finally started seeing Kurt Russell as Lee Shaw instead of just as Kurt Russell. I feel like a lot of times when I watch Kurt Russell, he's a very talented actor. I like him a lot. And he's, you know, he's easy to watch. But a lot of times I feel like I'm just watching Kurt Russell. I'm watching Kurt Russell do this. I'm watching Kurt Russell do that. But in this show, towards these last couple episodes... I finally felt like I was watching Kurt Russell be Lee Shaw, and I was seeing some emotions from him that were just really impressive. I was very impressed with some of his scenes in this last couple episodes. I thought, you know, Kurt Russell was just doing a really good job, and it was just really cool to see the connection, the bridge finally being finished. Overall, there's still some crazy character choices that just don't make sense. Some of the ending could be seen as a bit obnoxious. We definitely, you can tell the show is open-ended. It's supposed to be open-ended. I don't know if it's open-ended because we're supposed to be having a season two or are they just doing this because this is not the end and the end is actually going to take place in Godzilla X Kong. 
I don't think so because I just looked at the cast and I don't see any of this cast in Godzilla X Kong. So I'm thinking that there's probably very little connection between this show and that movie. So there's some good news. If you didn't watch the show, you don't have to probably have seen it to watch the movie and enjoy it. Although, if you didn't watch the show, why are you watching this review? So again, what's going on? Overall, I think this show definitely got interesting. It got more compelling. I was actually more interested. When the episode 9 ended, I found myself actually like, okay, I actually do want to see what happens in episode 10. I wasn't feeling like that before. I was feeling like, I, oh my god, Monarch's out? I completely forgot because I don't give a shit. But, you know, this show turned around, it grabbed my attention, and it held my interest for these last couple of episodes. I think that if they do a season two, I don't know if they're doing a season two, but I imagine season two will be better because they laid out the groundwork already. And so we have the legwork done. Now we can start having interesting characters and maybe a better storyline. So if this leads to a season two, then great. If this doesn't lead to a season two and all we have is the Godzilla X Kong movie, then I feel pretty bad for the people in the show because it overall doesn't feel like it amounted to much. I would still say that I think this show is, I was going to be like a five, honestly, before these last couple episodes. But now I think, you know, a seven. Let's just say a seven. A seven is good. I think it's fair. I think, you know, because the show had such a weak start and so many negative things going on, it just wasn't holding my interest. The characters just weren't the best, but I will say the last couple episodes did redeem some stuff. It got better. The action was pretty cool. I was really getting into some of this intensity. We're going full sci-fi here, and I guess that's pretty exciting. I mean, I, I don't mind the more rugged version, just, just plain Godzilla. I would have been fine if America just decided to reboot Godzilla and follow in the vein of something like Godzilla Minus One. I don't know why we had to have this hollow earth and all these magical tunnels and all this weird shit going on just so we could have a connected universe, but it is what it is. That's what they're doing. So uh, overall, I think that this show did redeem itself. I think it could be worth watching. I definitely wouldn't rush to watch it. And if you don't really want to watch the show, you should definitely not watch it. So those are my thoughts about this show. What are your thoughts? Did you like it? Did you see it? Do you think I'm an asshole for judging this show and being so mean to these people and judging them so harshly? Or do you agree with me? If you agree with me or if you liked this video, please hit like. And if you want to see more of this wisecracking personality and these really cool reviews that I'm doing, then you should subscribe to this channel. And I guess that's all I got for you. Later. Later.